it is just dicing up some real bed pe peppers and um, yeah, some onions. So here's the onion. I'm trying to learn how to do this voiceover. Peel the skin off of that. Mm -hmm. And you want to chop that. Not in small pieces, but not in big pieces either. It's a medium sized piece. I'm going to chop that up. And there we go, chopping that up. Look at that knife just going through that like butter. That's because it's an onion. That knife is actually dull. <laughs> Put that over there, set aside with the peppers while I get ready to <clears throat> get the meat ready. Now, this was a tough cut of meat, so I just cut some of that video out because um, I had to cut that fat off. Yeah. That ain't the meat you're supposed to use, but that's the meat I got. It's a cheaper cut, so try to cut it against the grain so that it won't be tough. And the cornstarch will make it uh, tender. So, yeah, cut it against the grain. That was a tough piece of meat. But it came out tender, though. So, yeah. So now that the meat is all chopped up, we're going to go ahead and season it. There we go. We got some cornstarch. That is to make it tender. Oh, was it the baking soda? One of them. I think it's, yeah. I think it's the cornstarch. And um, put about a tablespoon of that. And look at me talking about a tablespoon measure. Measure to your um, heart's content. There's some um, cooking wine. Chinese cooking wine. Not too much of that. And then we got some soy sauce. We're going to throw that soy sauce on there. Because we're making like a <coughs> pepper steak. My throat. Oh, my God. <coughs> and then we get, I think that's oyster sauce. Yeah, it's oyster flavor sauce. <laughs> some of that and you want to add some hoisin sauce and that gives it the like the um the pepper steak taste from the Chinese restaurant I don't know I've been into Chinese food lately I've been wanting to make Chinese food so yeah then we're gonna get that little mixy mix and we're going to um, sit that aside, let it marinate for about 10, 20 minutes. And then we'll fry that up. Yeah, this is my... F Okay, so yeah, in this we are putting two cloves of garlic and a little piece, a little piece of ginger, because I don't like ginger. But it calls for ginger, so I just put a little tiny piece, and that still was too much for me. Yeah. And when you season the meat, don't use hoisin sauce and um the other sauce. Just use the baking soda and the soy sauce. Now here we got some soy sauce. You want to make the sauce that way. You want to put the hoisin sauce and the soy sauce in a bowl and make the sauce. But don't marinate the chicken in it. I, I mean the steak. I made a mistake. Yeah. So now use the hoisin. It still came out good even though I made a mistake. That was oyster sauce. Now this is hoisin sauce. And some dark brown sugar. Now with this camera, it did not give it justice. But when I switched to my phone to take the, the video, you can see the difference when the dish came out because the dish didn't look like it's like it did on this new camera. I'm trying to fix the settings on this new camera. So yeah, so add some water because it just wasn't looking right to me. Give that a mixy mix. Okay, so to the frying pan, we're going to add some 
olive oil and that is to cook down the ve the vegetables the green pepper i mean not green pepper the red pepper and the onion you could have put a green pepper but i didn't have one so i didn't put one but yeah if you have some you could put it and we're just gonna cook those down until they get a little soft and we'll set we'll set those aside okay so we took out the vegetables and in the same pan we're going to add some more olive oil and we are now going to um sear the steak and we don't want to cook it too long because it is a tough steak so what you want to do is just probably a minute on one side and a minute on the other side and it will cook the rest of the way in the gravy and that will prevent it from being tough so if you do get a piece of tough steak always um you know marinate it in um baking soda cornstarch it can make it tender and <clears throat> cut it against the grain and don't cook it too long and that would assure that you have a nice tender piece of meat instead of a tough piece yeah so we're gonna put those in there trying to use this tongue one at a time i should have just took my hand and put it in there you know but um trying to be cute so i gave up on the tongs and used my hand <laughs> Yeah. yeah so my allergies is acting up so excuse me for the sniffling but yeah so that's gonna cook and that's gonna cook real quickly i'm gonna flip that over and get that out and remember don't cook it too long because it's a ten it's a tough piece of meat it's a chuck and chuck is very very tough but you can make this you don't have to buy that the expensive meat you can make it with cheap meat as long as you know how to cut it against the grain and and um not cook it too long. Yep. And okay, so now we're going to flip the meat. See the little golden brown seal on it. Looking good. Yeah, once you flip that, you know you want to take it aside. You don't want to leave it in there too long just for a little second flip it and then get it on out of there let it sit for a minute and get it out now you see that that looks nice and golden brown nicely said okay so now we're going to put down the sauce we make and we're going to cook that down until they get a little glazy looking a little shiny looking and once it does that we'll add the meat to it now i probably should let it cook down a little more get a little more glazier if that's a word but it turned out good anyway then we're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder i should have added that in the beginning and we also going to add a little bit of the um onion powder mm -hmm. And I added some pepper too, but it ain't, it's not on here, so, but I did add pepper. I guess you could season it if you want to season it more. You know, make it your own. This is mine, so you can make it yours. If you don't know how to make it, you could just take, like, tips from what I'm doing and create your own meal. That's what I usually do. If I like something, I just take it and make it mine. Yeah, and I'm just going to let that cook down. Okay, so now here I am adding the meat back into the sauce. So we get all that yummy goodness. We got a, uh, a overboard piece of meat. Just put it right back in there. It's my kitchen. My counter is clean, and I can do that. Yep, so go ahead and add the meat back in there. Let it get all that good sauce. And don't forget to bake your pot of uh, white rice on the side. Because that's even going to be delicious. With some white rice. It goes delicious with white rice. And after that, then what you want to do is get that mixed all in there. And then you want to go ahead and add in the peppers. Put the peppers back in there. 
Where are you, Peppers? You see that bubbling golden deliciousness? Let's add the peppers back in. The onions and the peppers. And mix it up. I try not to put a lot because my kids don't like it. A lot of these peppers and onions. Well, only one kid don't like it. So, yeah. And you just mix that up. It's basically about done. It is done. It's delicious because you don't remember you don't want to cook it. It's already cooked. Okay, and we are done. It was really good and delicious. I hope you try to make it and I hope you enjoy it. Catch you in the next one. Peace.